Hello everyone, today we will be trying out another new moon that I came across on the Thunderstore mod manager. Last time we checked out the Orion moon which is pretty cool, and this time we're going to be checking one called Ducky. This one released just yesterday on the mod manager store, yesterday being December 17th, I'm recording this on the 18th, and I wanted to go check it out. And so, once again, I don't know anything about this moon. And unlike last time, we're not going to try to see how far we can go. We're just going to play one quota and see what kind of showcase we can get. I did read on the patch notes that if you try to go to Ducky right away, then the game breaks. So it is recommended to land somewhere else first. So I'm going to go see if landing on the company building will suffice. While we're there, I'm going to buy a pro flashlight. And yeah, hopefully I can actually start a map showcase with some better lighting time around let's go might even just buy a second pro flashlight let's just use up all that money let's see if there's anything i can buy for 10 credits there isn't the question is whether or not landing here will be good enough to go to ducky without the game crashing by the way if you want to try the ducky moon for yourself the mod is called ducks underscore moons by fire noobsta but yeah excited to see what the moon has in store for us i did see that it is a zero cost moon unlike orion orion was a 100 cost moon but that also doesn't mean that it's going to be an easier planet by any means i mean orion was a 100 cost moon and it seemed just as if not more dangerous than titan but we'll see what ducky is like again don't know anything about it other than that it's the mod that was available on the store and that this is the first iteration of the plot. Okay, we're gonna get decent weather, so let's go. Hopefully that counts as a moon landing. A small civilization recently abandoned the moon, and asked for the reason why, the only reason was moon's haunted. Good enough reason for me to go and check it out. Hopefully this doesn't break the game. Wow. Okay, this looks a lot more modern than what we were on previously. It looks it was very much back rooms esque type vibes. And I also see Beehive. Well, hazard level S. So we are looking at a more dangerous planet. Obviously, the first thing I'm going to do is run backwards. Then in building. We even have a helipad. Like a little ship landing pad. That's kind of cool. The manticoil. See some circuit keys. Might want to move those just because it might be a pain in the a little pain to deal with later on. But also maybe not. It looks like that's a fire exit. I don't know if I want to enter through the fire exit for my first print, but Okay. Doesn't have the full like fire exit lighting on it, but I think we're gonna go anyway. Got a facility map. Okay, just remember that I have a flashlight. And look, there's the main entrance. Let's go see where the main entrance is then, I suppose. This is supposed to be like a map showcase, after all. So it's straight ahead. Um, looks like we don't have all the door animations, but that also kind of adds to the eeriness of it. We have another beehive right here, so if I really wanted to, I could just collect both beehives and call it a day. I think I will actually. Let, let's practice our B, our hive. Actually, no. The reason why I don't want to rely on that is because I want to see what kind of monsters spawn on this map. So let's go. Class for 23. Not too bad. We got a plastic fish for 36. So, based on those loot values alone, it looks like we're going to have a pretty high value moon here. I wonder if there's a higher chance of ghost girls spawning since they said it was a haunted moon. Wouldn't bode well for a solo run. And we got this hairdryer, okay. Already doing pretty well here. Our first time on Orion. Not Orion, Ducky, sorry. Uh, let's go collect these. I wonder if there's a spot that makes sense to just drop them. Maybe towards the middle, but because that beehive is right there, it doesn't make as much sense. Also, another beehive. There's three beehives. That makes the beehive... Either I just got really lucky, or this has a similar beehive spawn rate as March. I wonder if it's because of, like, all the 
high tech stuff that it attracts wicked bees to this area. I think we just go and hope for a better roll on on the hives. Also get to see if the beehive, like multiple beehives like that, is gonna be a normal occurrence or not. Not like uh having only three days to look at it will be good enough for that, but you know, maybe. I could also just have a better time exploring the rest of the map when there isn't a beehive right in the middle of central spot. 1357 total loot. So this is going to be on the same level as the premium planets at a zero cost. I don't know if I leave it like that for when I play with friends. Maybe I will introduce a cost for it. We'll see. I'm also thinking about what would happen if I added this new moon as well as the Orion one to my Iron Man list. I actually feel like adding these moons would make the run a lot easier because one I get a high value moon for free in Ducky which I wouldn't normally get otherwise. Can I go down there? It looks like I die. I don't want to die in overworld death so soon. But on top of that I also get another high value moon for only a hundred in Orion. That would give me a lot more money to work with earlier rather than later. Whereas in the vanilla Iron Man run I have to make most of my money off the first five planets before I start paying for more expensive premiums. I'm gonna check out what's over here on these other sides, see if there's another fire exit of some sort, or if that one over there on the right is the only one. The only thing with having a fire exit so close to the entrance like this is that there would be almost no reason to not just go there first. If I'm playing in a group, then we'll split up and go to different entrances. Doesn't seem like there's gonna be another one though. If giants spawn in the outside here, it'd be kind of like a giant's playground of sort. Very open ground. I, I don't know if they can go upstairs though, so we might be safe from giants up there. Unless they go up this little landing strip, little highway area. Okay, so it seems like it's only the fire exit the main entrance. Okay. So this could be kind of cool. If there were like a like modded game modes like football or griff ball. Lethal Company Ball, you could use these parking lots or something. Someone should mod Pickleball into Lethal Company. Seems pretty appropriate. Okay, so let's play a little bit more normally. See if uh, any enemies spawn. And if so, what kind of enemies? I'd imagine some of the more dangerous variants. Just based on the amount of loot available. Okay, it looks like they want me to take that dangerous jump, but unfortunately, I am a somewhat safe employee. So rather than making a jump that might not even be necessary, let me go at the fire exit first. See what that has to offer for me. Especially since that just seems to be the play for solo play. For solo play, I would most definitely start at the fire exit. And if it's just too dangerous to keep continue, then I would that's when I would then opt for the main entrance. It also just seems safer to go back and forth from. Okay, nice. Magic 7 ball for 69. When we get a big room also. Before we explore that though, let's see what's over on this side. Looks like it's gonna give me a lot also. We'll just keep going straight. Wow. Actually something here. I already have like 100 something in value here. Yeah, wow, this is just free. And then there's another big room over there. Probably gonna be something in the lockers as well. And I see an item straight ahead. <clears throat> and there was an old phone by the door. That's nuts. So far, very lucky with the loot. <coughs> and honestly, I would, wouldn't really have much reason to stay here other than wanting to see at least one enemy. Pretty good value. Okay, well. I do see one enemy, and it's not an enemy that I necessarily equipped to deal with. But let's go grab that hair dryer from it, though. As long as I don't move, it can't see me. <coughs> In that scanning phase, I just can't get. Hit by it. You're an ooze. Okay, it's time to go over there.
don't come this way. Dude. This just got a lot more difficult than it had to be. No! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. But the slime was coming. I could have played that a little bit more patient. The slime can't kill me on the... On the railing anyway. Well, just like the previous run on Orion, I am now on day three with nothing to show for anything. So let's at least try to hit the day one quota. That a boss rating employee thing. Not looking too hot right now. But look at that. I came prepared with a second flashlight just for situations like this. Let's see what the weather's like. Still healthy. But let's go. This time we're just gonna go for 130 and call it a day. So simulation, right? If I can find the spawn the spawn table for this map, I'll put it up on the video right now. But as it's a new moon, I don't know if that's something that I'll have readily available just yet. But it would be cool. Or it's something I can look into the code for and mine for myself, but I'm not really into doing that kind of thing. Unless I become into that thing for the sake of the video. 45. We're like a third of the way there. Pardon my mask, that's correct. Okay, these rooms usually have quite a bit. Yeah, that's just fantastic. Wow, okay. We're gonna take all of this. Just be just to make up for last time. But I mean I I was barely in here and that's already like seven items total. It is a little it is a little greedy to go for all of it when I only need 130, but you know what? If this were a real run, there's no reason for me to not go for it all. I'm gonna try to turn off this robot though. Worst item in the game. Not even just take it all the way home. I'd rather not listen to it or have to do that drop stuff over and over again. Also, I'm at 69 pounds. Kind of funny. Yeah, let's go. Actually, let's see what the play is now. I have multiple rounds of items to take. Where is the best place to drop it? I think it's going to be at the end of the staircase right here. I'm not going to save a crazy amount of time, but a time save is a time save. Right around here. I feel like I run slower than normal. Drop it right there. Even if I dropped, it would be faster for me to drop it here, but it would be a much longer run back and forth also. I don't know if that's worth it. And since I don't plan on continuing the run, I can just leave my flashlight here. I wonder how much of the loot... I could have scanned, huh? Probably should have scanned before I left to see total loot value. Also to see if the total loot value is even accurate in the first place. I've also learned that the loot value shown on this monitor is not accurate for what's actually in. 23 objects for 2251. That means that each object outside would have to be worth around 100 or so. That's not even the case with these alone right here, especially this flask at 29. That would mean that there's another object out there. Or the other objects would have to be around like 130, 150, or even 170 at most. Not really accurate. I'd say the number at the end screen report is going to be a lot more real. So, 1946. I believe the total value on the planet is going to be less than that 1946. So we can check that out right now if I leave right now. Maybe this number is like max value. If all, if every item that on there was at max value, these aren't at max value. Like perfume battle 66, that's a pretty unlucky roll, I think. I've had them in the hundreds before. Collected 1142, yeah, that's 800 less than what was displayed here. Even after I collected all of this, this is worth like 419. I mean, this 
419 off barely being in there that's really good for a zero cost planet i would probably make this planet cost something maybe it depends on the outdoor danger that's something that i didn't see i probably should have waited to um experience the nighttime but if you want to go do that yourself you totally can or go find someone else that does it well most likely experience the nighttime when i play on that planet again with the group but i'm not playing with the group right now so yeah stay tuned for that and Thanks for watching my first reaction to the new Ducky Moon and go download it for yourself and play on it because why not? Enjoy the rest of your day.